We've heard it all offseason long. Everybody in your mama has been saying that the Raiders need defensive help. Don't draft a quarterback at seven. Fine, fine. So if the Raiders are going to go that route, we put up the uh, a kind of a perfect scenario here if you're the Raiders uh, to see what defensive pieces that the Raiders need to draft with the 7th, 38th, and then like, I forgot their third round pick off the top of my head, and I'm looking uh, uh, this up as we speak. But you, know, you get 7 and, and 38, which are going to be uh, your picks that uh, definitely are going to be a lot of fun. But then also in the third round, oh, yeah, 70. I'm an idiot. Plus, oh, yeah, 100 from the Darren Waller trade. So you have three Pretty early picks here uh, in the first three rounds of the draft that make you uh, pretty excited about what's going to go on. And so we're going to get three different pieces, playmakers, the perfect, the perfect three defensive uh, p- uh, pieces and playmakers for the Las Vegas Raiders defense. And I think it all starts with number one, Devin Witherspoon. So uh, coming in out of Illinois, yes, him and, uh, you know, Nate Hobbs will have some familiarity. You know they will love it. But uh, I really feel like Devin Witherspoon is a guy that, you know, you're really encouraged by his shutdown ability. He's not he's not at all over six foot, but I don't care. The man absolutely just plays way above his size. He plays like a true shutdown corner. You saw it there at Illinois. Uh, yes, uh, in his last year there, had three interceptions for 97 yards. But look at what he did in coverage. I, I don't even care about the tackles. Look at what he did. So 738 defensive snap he was, uh, snaps. He was targeted 62 times, only allowed to 22 catches. Literally a third of the time that the passes were complete. Like, this man did not get a lot of things thrown on him. All of it equated to 206 yards, no touchdowns, three interceptions, uh, a lot, and had a passer rating of when he was thrown out of a 25.3 and a PFF grade of a 92. I hate to break it to you, but it don't get much better than that. Like, this man was an absolute stud. He's going to be one of your starters at uh, one of those places or one of the corner spots right away opposite of Duke Shelley or whoever. I don't care. I love Devin Weatherspoon. you got to come in, and uh, I definitely think he's the first piece of this defense uh, that you start with. The second piece to this defense uh, that you start with drafting is linebacker Dion Henley. Now, Dion Henley, to me, uh, it's not even just the fact that uh, if you just look what he did at Washington State this last year, that he had over 100 tackles, whoop de doo It's the fact that this man, you know, 12 tackles for loss, four sacks, had an interception, you know, uh, was solid in coverage. You know, one of those guys, you know, he's not going to be, uh, you know, uh, he's not going to be the best in coverage. But overall, uh, Dion Henley is just an absolute stud in every sense of the word. And I do think he could be the next Eric Kendricks for the Raiders. And I don't say that loosely being a Vikings and Raiders fan. But having a, an overall grade of a 73.3 grade as well as a 68.6 coverage grade, you're pretty excited with what he does. But then I want you to take a look down here at his alignment, where you can put him. Okay, he was in the D-line sometimes. He played in the slot. He played seven snaps at corner. Mainly played his, um, uh, you know, in the box. You understand that as a linebacker. Even back as a deep safety. Like, it's the fact this man is so versatile. He is hostile, and he is ready to make a difference um, as a linebacker in the NFL. Like, yes, he's 6'1", 225, 230. He ran a 4-5 at the combine. Like, he's just lightning quick. I think he's the next Eric Hendricks if you are looking for that uh, for the Las Vegas Raiders. You just got to go take a flyer on him. The middle of your defense will thank you. Uh, the the third player is Keanu Benton. Like, this, is, we're just getting right into it because Keanu Benton, to me, is the next Akeem Hicks. Like, uh, I definitely think that's possible. You know, uh, enter, you know, I mean, even guys, you know, like, uh, what is it, uh, uh, Kenny Clark coming over from the Packers, whoever you want to play uh, or uh, compare this guy to, he is absolutely that dude. So you'll see here in all of his different years at Wisconsin, he just got better and better and better, played in eight games there for Wisconsin. I think he even started a couple, if I'm not mistaken. 12 total tackles, a couple of sacks. Then, yes, the COVID year, we all know what happened there. Uh, came back in his junior year at Wisconsin, absolutely was a stud to half sacks, uh, 24 total tackles, including five for loss. And then this last year, you saw a guy that continually just gets better. And he's only going to get better, especially uh, as he goes over into the Raiders. He's going to be the focal point of that defensive pass rush. Four and a half sacks this last year, as well as 10 tackles for loss, 36 total tackles. I mean, and it's the fact that what has this Raiders defense been missing? It's been missing a guy that's solid against the run and that can get after it in the pass game. That's exactly what Keanu Benton does. Uh, and I think he's still got some growing to do. I mean, a guy that's, what, 6'4", 3 I still think he can pack on, you know, 15 to 20 pounds, and I absolutely love it. So you'll see there for uh, Wisconsin last year, 83.5 uh, pass rush grade. You love it. He's a guy that's going to get after it, going to get after the quarterback, but also the run defense grade. Like, he's not a liability. No, he's not going to uh, consistently take up double teams to a point where he's just a rock in the middle, but I think he can develop that point in his game, um, especially with certain hand usage and making sure the alignments uh, and getting all that and winning from low to high, that kind of a thing. So uh, you really like it. Also had 11 hurries and 
11 hits last year and a, a pass rush win rate of 13.3%, which is very, very good. So uh, that all to say, you know, you've got three players there between Devin Witherspoon, Dion Henley, and Keanu Benton uh, as three guys that could come in immediately and really take form for your defense, really be difference makers, guys that you build around for many years to come. And I think that's exactly what the Raiders need to do. They need to go get their guys on defense, finally get this defense to a point where it's going to be fun to watch. you got guys on all levels that's going to make pl- that's going to make plays, excuse me. But, I mean, can you imagine Keanu Benton uh, with, uh, you know, Mad Max Crosby out there? Like, it's just, it's going to be a lot of fun. So I really think that uh, the rest of this will come into place if the Raiders can really go with their guys at those first three picks. Uh, but I believe if they go this way, it's the – it's the perfect, perfect three picks to really start rebuilding this defense and get it back to where it should be. But let us know what you guys think. Make sure you guys like and subscribe down below. Leave a like and a comment. It helps people find the show. We greatly appreciate all the support that we've gotten and continue to get. You guys are all truthfully awesome. We love every single one of you. Down in the description below, you'll find all of our social media platforms. So give us a like and a follow there. Also remember to give us a listen and sub on iTunes. And finally, if you have anything else you'd like us to cover, send us an email at the sportsbp at yahoo.com or put in the comment section down below, and we would love to cover. But let us know what you guys think about the three defensive pieces that the Raiders need to draft in the 2023 NFL Draft.